see that where it says furry friends we're so excited because we're going to be thrifting there right now it's one of my favorite thrift shops in jupiter florida and if you haven't noticed already i really love thrifting in jupiter florida they have really really great thrift shops here so let's go in there i am looking for valentine's day decor for adam and i and i'm gonna bring you along here we are guys furry friends for the love of animals the All I need to comfort me is a cozy cat and a cup of tea. Four dollars. Oh, how cute. That's pretty old, huh? Yeah, it looks like That's cool. Oh, the ducks. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> well, because we don't like clowns. They have so many cute little things here. Look at this. Case Collection Dollar Tree. Look at that, Dollar Tree. I, I, I'm not a fan of clowns. Do you like clowns? Mm. 
Okay, guys, so this is our list of thrift stores that we want to go to. It's already 3 o'clock, so a lot of these close at 4. So it looks like we're going to hit up one of our favorite shops, the Jupiter Medical Center Thrift Store, since they close at 4. And then we are going to end it with Goodwill. My favorite thrift store ever, Jupiter Medical Center Thrift Shop. Uh, with less than an hour to shop, they're going to close soon. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited.
fun day. So I have found some good stuff. Now we're going into Goodwill Superstore. I can't wait to show you guys my haul. Okay, I'm at my third thrift store for the day. I'm at the Goodwill Superstore in Jupiter. Adam's gonna stay in the car because it's a surprise.
Okay, guys, welcome to my Valentine's Day massive haul. So I went looking for, I went thrifting looking for Valentine's Day stuff so that I can decorate the dining table and all that, but I couldn't help myself. I found goodies. So we ended up going to Furry Friends, which is one of my favorite thrift stores in Jupiter, as I had mentioned. And then I also ended up going to the Jupiter Medical Center thrift store. Then the third one, we went to the Goodwill, the Goodwill in Jupiter. And all three are just my favorite. These are the goodies that I found. So I'm just, I just kind of scattered them here for you so that I can randomly tell you about it. All right, so let's start with what I got at the Jupiter Medical Center thrift store. So for Valentine's, I wanted to have pink. So I found these napkin ring holders that are super vintage and they were only 50 cents. Actually, I think they were only a quarter. It was like half off. These are so cool. They are plastic, but they're so vintage and there's just that perfect kind of pink. And then I found these candle holders that are imperfect. They're not perfect. They're painted weird, but they had gray ones also. I don't know if you got to see that in the video, but see, it's slashed. The dollars are slashed because they were half off. So I got them for 50 cents. They're wood. They're painted. They have these cute little bows with hearts on it. You know, it's kind of, I don't, I don't know if it's dirty. It's like paint or something. I'm trying to get that off. But I'll put some candles in there on the table. I found this wax warmer uh, melter. Um, it has a little bitty chip on here right there but I think that's just in the, the the glaze part but how cute is that you know I, I don't know I got it for two dollars and fifty cents so we're going to be using that and then let's see what else did I get there? oh 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 okay so for the napkin holders I found these really gorgeous vintage napkins and some of them are stained two of them are not stained at all but look at them they have little blue hearts on it with the pink so it'll go just perfect with that napkin ring holder and the um you know the candle holders but how cute right I, they kind of remind me of there's like a pattern or like a plate or something like this with ducks in the middle and the ducks have bows on their necks or geese or whatever yeah i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but there's like platters like that but anyway for a set of four i got it for half off of two dollars they told me it was half off uh, linens or something so i got it for a dollar isn't that great i'm going to use a little oxy clean and get the stains out of the other ones also for the set i ended up paying eight dollars i got three ceramic heart shaped let's see it says made in china i don't think they're anything special but they're really cool and this one it has a very little chip on there very little this is just for us so i'm going to serve the food in that let me see if there's anything wrong with it no there's just some crazing because it's vintage what else did i get there hmm yeah that's all that i got there so next we're gonna go to the furry friends so we actually ended up going to furry friends first so the first haul i got here are these really crazy jewelry jars so i'll be doing three separate videos because this is gonna maybe even four because this huge one is gonna take so long I don't, I don't know but don't don't look at the prices because i didn't pay 30 i paid 15. this was also set for 30 dollars. i don't know why maybe there's better things in there you know the lady told me right off the bat that this one here probably ha has like a very small broken something but can fix it well we'll see and then this one was also 30 so they were each 30 but um i didn't pay 90 dollars. i paid half off of everything so it was like 45 dollars so that's the only thing I got there. I didn't see anything Valentine's-y that I wanted. Goodwill was kind of cool. I got this Hazel Atlas orange juice carafe from like 1950s. It's just like in perfect condition. But anyway, so you see it looks like there's a H and an A. So a lot of people confuse that with Anchor Hawking. This company, Hazel Atlas, they stopped functioning around 1964, which is, I think, correct i'm not sure but I, I think it was 1964 um don't quote me on that but it was definitely 1960s so i mean it is super vintage but i wonder if they were like rivals because like the a and the h that's kind of cool like but anchor hawking just so you know has an anchor that's their symbol okay, so also at goodwill i found these really cool mugs they were 99 cents each 
And I thought they were both Mark Twain mugs, but they're not. Um, well, this one here has a painting. It says Alexander on it. And it says the Erie Canal, 1825, New York's first throwaway opened waterway. Traffic from Buffalo to Albany. I just like the mugs. It's beautiful, hand-painted. And then there's this coffee mug here that's also Alexander is the artist. And it says Mark Twain's Buffalo Residence, 472 Delaware Avenue, during his tenure as owner of the Express, 1869 to 1871. And I got that for $0.99, cents, so definitely I'll put that up on my shop. I'm not sure how much yet. Okay, next up, I have these awesome Abingdon, Abingdon, Abington, USA candle holders. So they're selling abundantly on eBay, but not this color. Like, I didn't see this color. And I have two of them. So I got them for $2.99 each. Excited about that. Oh, this is really pretty. So this is an ornament stand, a, a golden ornament stand. And I just really liked the snowflake lantern tea light lantern that it came see how shiny it is i haven't even cleaned it yet and it's that shiny it's iridescent oh it's so pretty i think i got that for 4.99 these are wonderful um these are actually ralph Lauren. they're dirty i haven't cleaned them yet but see it let me see if you could see the etching kind of right here up here see it, it says ralph Lauren. they're ralph Lauren candle holders there's nothing wrong with them. They're really beautiful. And I think it's just they went unnoticed. People walking right past them. But I look under every object I touch. For Valentine's, I also picked up these. I will tell you that I think just because I have bought champagne from Perrier Jouet, I think this was a set that came with Perrier Jouet. I'm almost pretty sure, but it doesn't say Perrier Jouet on it. But it just looks like it. But I thought they were really cute for Valentine's Day. And they were only 99 cents each. Look how cute. I don't think they're etched. They're like painted. Next, I, I couldn't help myself. This was so pretty. They were $2.99 each for these Christmas trees. They're gold and green. They almost feel like... Every time I pick them up, I almost feel like there's oil on it. But then when I run my fingers on it and then try to look, I don't see any oil. So, But they feel kind of oily. I don't know. I don't know. But they feel really luxurious as well. So I wonder if somebody tried to oil them to make them look shinier. Okay, these are cool. I looked them up. They're Murano glasses. The Murano grape clusters inside the wine glass. I, I see them up on eBay for a lot, but I haven't seen any sold yet. So I might just decrease what they're putting it up for and then see if I can get them sold. They're really pretty. They're $2.99 each. I have two of them. Oh, wow. And there's some that I saw on eBay that have um, yellow grapes in it or red, I think, or green. Okay, so this looks like nothing. It's just a teapot, right? But just check out what it sold for on eBay recently. About 30 something dollars. This is $4.99. It's in a box, so people like new things. Um, I think it comes with a tea in it. Maharaja Chai Oolong. I... I'm going to sell it, but not with that, because I don't think you're allowed to sell food, any type of food on eBay. I could be wrong about that, but I will not be selling it with this in it. This is what it looks like. It's actually really cool, and I think they had just put it out. You know, like a brand new teapot, but there's something special about it because it's kind of pricey. Look how pretty. You can put the tea inside. This is really nice. It's like Japanese blossoms. Tea Forte is the brand. This is really interesting. Very cool ornament from Dillard's. I don't know what year it is, but it is a croissant turtle inside of a hand-blown glass. So as you can see here, I found how much the turtle is worth. This is my Valentine's Day haul. So I might end up buying more stuff before Valentine's Day. If there's ever anything that you see here that you like, you guys can email me. I will put my email in the description. Also, check out my shop. They might pop up there. Um, as far as the jewelry goes, when we open it up, if there's anything that you like there, just email me and we'll work out some kind of price. But I don't know what's in there yet. It's all taped up. This one is really cool. I can't wait to see what this one looks like. Let's see. There seems like some kind of heart here. I saw something with a Mille Flori. A Mille Fiori in there. I saw it. 
And then I'm obsessed with jewelry jars. They couldn't understand why I was so happy. I was supposed to make a video with another one. This is the other one here with another one, but let me just show you what it looks like. So embarrassed about what it looked like inside. It was just crafts and broken beads. So I did a whole hour something video and then I just took it down. I got so angry that I just, I didn't. The only pretty thing that's in here is this. I don't even know what that is. I don't know if it's gold. I'm not sure what it is, but I mean, look at what they have in here and they even have like children's stickers and stuff in there and everything is broken. So that's okay. I just won't be buying jewelry jars from them again. So I'm going to open these and we'll make separate videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and share and please subscribe so that you can see more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching.